Greeting from Treasure Island, Pivey Island, Matrix. It's the Austin's Diary, year 55. Been a long, long time. So, today I am going to start with the Magic Kingdom Voodoo Shakedown. It seems to be a high holy holiday. What was it? The 22nd day of summer. 22nd being the number of the uh, atomic number of titanium, which is magic because of Louisiana Pacific, formerly a part of the Georgia Pacific monopoly that obviously I am paying for. Uh, yeah. The crazy, stupid gamblers, and they were warned um, of revenge and wrath, is just one of the I mean, you're talking about one of the worst mistakes in history. And I think it's a terrible mistake. They, all they had to do was feed me and treat me like a, a third class citizen, and it would But they had to treat me the worst. I mean, just cuckoo, crazy, stupid, uh, out of their mind, mad. And I pay for their beauty shop by being tortured mad. They gotta get their money's worth out of their slave and prove they're brave and old south. We're gonna rally the troops to Athens, old south, really Indianapolis. Um, so yeah, they're trying to steal the Greek money. They don't care about the pennies, they want the Greek money. They want the right, right, fertile fruits, and they want the the sacred livestock that they can control. That's the hot. They don't want me to have any. Because I had a really strong, well, they're gambling their existence because they're locked out. They're going to be animal farms. It's going to be locked out in the wilderness. They did not allow, they think they can control the gun. I don't know. It's a crazy gamble. But they basically decided that they would rather gamble all of these, these this, they would gamble on being outdoors, the outsiders, rather than building, allowing building a bridge, first of all, and then um, allowing the bank castle to be reality and a law bank management. Um, and then you get into, there's so many variations to move into this. So yeah, the, the game has always been, I'm like a, a pinata. They fill me up and then knock me down, and so I have a yard sale. I'm fallible. I've got to fall every time. That's that permanent mark. I always fall because the blood dope that I produce is infallible. And so I pay for it all. So I get just knocked around, beat to every, I mean, just total mental abuse. So all the posers that are, like I said, they're varying, varying degrees of legality within the system. I'm willing to accept a certain amount. They won't even go to the negotiating table. Because every sacred piece of a part of the machine, that's where you get into the machine. And so, I pay for everything by being fallible. So when I fall, well, I can only, they're trying to also teach me the value of life. I can't afford real jewelry. That's the Cartier Tiffany Joe Treasure Island. Um, I give money, I, a lot, the people that I by power to, and then they can afford to go out and buy jewelry. And then there's also the joke about melting diamond rings that the sun actually rose because they gambled so much. They do not, they're fighting it. They're fighting in their mental, it's a gambling addiction, which I feel bad to a degree, but Jesus fucking Christ. Excuse my language there, but I mean, these people are crazy. Sin, sin industry, um, I pay for it. I mean, and then the lessons, not only do I pay for the sin industry, then they waste my entire life teaching lessons while they're trying to screw my aunt by playing sides between my cousin and my aunt to divide it up. They do not share. These are some greedy motherfuckers, you know. They will not share at all. No sharing. It's permanent absolutism. No sharing. And we, yeah, so they're fighting over everything. They want the most. Get the back, get the man, Minnie Pearl. Fuck you! We're going to make you hate yourself because we hate you 
you so goddamn bad because we stole your fucking wallet and we're relying upon it. So, yep, it's fill me up and then knock me down to scatter all the pieces. Or what they found is that's where the whole, the, their god is this mad Caldwell ham piggy bank that can, that's how they transfer all my power out of me into them. So, because my kidnap, my slave master, which is an old South joke, even though I'm the fucking old South, you fucking retards, I'm a goddamn put. If you, that's the thing that proves they're just stupid fucking racist, and they, but they're not. They hate. They're like anarchists. It's, it's really stupid, strange logic, and I hate to be demeaning, but after 15, 20 years of kidnapping. And trying to warn these idiots, but they're not really, I mean, they're losing control of the system. Then they're, everybody knows they're too big of cowards to pull up any sort of dare. Because if they try to pull anything, it's going to be all out war. And the legal system is caught rapidly. So their only hope was me. And they fucked me like deliverance to prove they were brave. I mean, how fucking. They're literally, their only hope. So now they're praying to hope almighty God, Hillary Clinton's going to save us from all the, oh, all the boogeymen. It's crazy. So they, they pay their bills as really they bribe politicians. The, and the politicians, it's politicians revenge over, you know, the, uh, because, and it's even got Ken Starr, who's in charge of one of the, they want to turn the lords into a, see, the, the, those that, the, the holier than thou, puritanical, vanilla ice, want to turn the lords into, like, politicians that are accountable for every penny. So they want, like, a congressional hearing over my, because they want access. They just, it gives them the opportunity to steal more, is really all it does. Literally, that's all it is. We want the accountability, that's why they're pulling this slow roasted dragon like a jasper dragon and they're dragging me behind they're just dying of it. hunger and star and dehydration sacred sacred almighty wound that i can i've got to be empathetic to the sacred wound or to anything anything i throw away i have to be i am the biggest fucking pussy world. I get fucked by everything. Everything matters. Every fucking aluminum can I toss out is a fucking god compared to me. You know, that's how sacred this fucking tattoo is. You know? And the sacred electric, anybody that can plug a light into a socket, almighty god, I gotta bow down and worship to him. That's literally that was the logic of this scam. Even though if you audited it, it would just collapse. It would be the worst scam, fraud scam in the history of the world. And that's what they're trying to do is to make it so ridiculous. And they're trying to get so many guilty accomplices that they catch too big to fail. You know, cannot. It, it's national security even to bury the bodies. Now, praise Jesus. Whoever that is today, praise the Machine Jesus, praise the Terminator, praise the Transformers, praise the mob. Anything. They bribe everything. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. The bait and switch pollution. World, yeah. So, that's what's going on. It's got, And this is, I'm going to deal with the immigration crisis. How many Catholic hospitals, how many Catholic universities, how many Catholic schools in the United States. And then you factor in the rank scams of all of this um, fluctuating. So, and what's happened, and because of the rank scam, and because I am a slave, the cat, I will give it, uh, the cat, the USA Catholics completely dropped the ball. They messed up. I mean, they're in they worshiped as gold. They were mesmerized, hypnotized by the Golden Dome, the independent, vain, you know. And they never, they didn't, could not comprehend the importance of rectifying the infection.
injections that were poisoning the entire grid. Louisiana is a massive, massive bioterrorism network in this place, especially since I was kidnapped and I am, they wanted to double dose the poison, literally. They wanted to, they were going for the fucking kill. They were going to try, at, at the uh, at the prime time with technology, they were going for the kill. I mean, just kill the fucking world. The world is a bunch of cowards and we're going to make them into hamburgers. The football cowards of the world. We're going to turn into hamburger planet. They went for the fucking kill, and I am one of their biggest weapons, and I pay 100%. I'm not allowed to. I'm just, I'm, I'm like a skateboarder. You know, I'm hogtied, dragged around on a fucking leaf. So, yeah, they're going to bait and switch the trap. It's like, they, these are the VIPs of the world. These are the pros. These, you know, I'm a JV. Then there's the varsity level. And they even keep me in high school. That's the joke. They want, because I, and then it's building on top of that. I'm like, okay. So then there's the college level, there's different levels of college, and then there's the pros, you know, the real big pimping master pros. And so what they're doing is they're baiting, switching. They're, they want me to, I'm their server. They, they raised me to, to serve them like a good fucking slave and bring them, fetch them the best in the world, because they are the masters of the world. The rest of the world's a bunch of fucking coward football, football cowards for hamburger meat. The hamburger world planet. Yo, boy! You know, Churchill Downs, fuck you, Sport of Kings. It's the Sport of John. That's indie pimp pride, yeah. So, yeah, the bait and switch pollution. So, they're polluting this grid, which is poison by sabotaging my mission, which is managing the bank land management as a revenge, um, as wrath, revenge, vanity, beauty shop for my kidnappers, um, then they are, it is, um, basically they're poisoning all of the, the world to this permanent rise of the Terminator. And it's the bait and and it's based on the representational precedent of natural resources. And there's like Freeport McMoran, where you go into a mine, you take all the valuable gold, you take all the valuable diamonds, and you leave a big hole with dirt in it. And that's what they're basically doing. And that's a representational network programming of different parts of the world. The problem is they will not let me manage the bank because I'm trying to balance it. They just, they don't give a fuck about the world. Just give me all the fucking money. It's got, the, see, business is hot, trying to postpone the inevitable correction. And what the correction is, is like civil rights and popular. There's going to be a civil rights revolution in the business world eventually. And they're forcing my hand to play this card because they would not let me. They could have done it like gentlemen, but they wanted to play hardball. You know, they wanted to hardball it up. They wanted to maximize profit um, and get as much as they could. Also, I'm so I'm predicting there will be a civil rights in the business world where they're taking all. Of the, eventually, the, you got to turn on the light. The math is just really, really, really. So yeah, USA God, I pay for it, get the VIP luxury pro goods and the parties and all that stuff. They don't pay anything for it. They can make, go print up some Monopoly money, build some crap, you know, build some crap and make some money, you know, just build some more crap, add another wing onto the house, add some more, you know, more tonnage. And they can do that all day because of their position. The problem is they're not being very responsible. And, the way, and they've caused this race globally. Rather than addressing the global issues that they should, they just build more crap. And they will not let me. Their piggy bank is Latin America. And they are going to kill Europe to keep that piggy bank there. They will not let me manage that at all. It's to the death. So yeah, they use met my sister as the, she is the diamond drill. She gets all of it. And that she's 
she, my sister had really brainwashed the Jewish princesses and the Catholic princesses if you would, against me and turned them against me just like she turned like she was turned against my father. And they're doing the same thing against me. And they're not smart enough to realize that they're worshiping their they're selling their soul to the system. I mean, they are not smart enough, and I've tried to wake them up, but they will not lift a finger to help me. They, are, I mean, and that's why they keep me on Tabby Isle, Treasure Island here as a uh, bank robbery hostage to keep the scam going. Uh, they are fighting to the death to keep these scams going. So, yeah, they're using, and if you think like anti matter and anarchy, this is an anarchy revolution. This isn't a workers' revolution yet. This is anarchy revolution. And the reason is, they do not, because they are, they, they feel they have the strongest position. The wealthy can withstand it. They, the wealthy can take the heat in order to um, expand the, or export the uh, revolution globally. So, yeah. Let's see. What's, oh, yeah, back to the voodoo yards there. So, I've got these little, oh, it's like Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I mean, just stupid, stupid. But it's the only thing I, I mean, I, I was set up by, and it goes back to this, they're trying to consider, oh, it's because ABC family and the Episcopal gods of the world, because my sister was married in St. John, the pro-gods church. And uh, so that's where they're using her. So the D and the E, there's no D and E like my mother and my sister had. And so they're fighting me. That's why they, that, that's why Savannah is backing because the ABC thing is chasing life. I, I'm trying to chase down my paycheck from this St. John Episcopal guy. Even, I mean, just crazy, stupid vanity, pride. I mean, rather than being, building a brick, they just will not let me eat. I mean, that's what, they would not feed me they were worshiping the parasite. They wanted me to fatten up some parasites for them to eat. That's what they were doing. They were they were fattening me up. When, whatever I eat goes to their parasites, and they're gonna. And that's how I'm paid. It's a you know, it, I'm fattening up St. Vincent's parasites for them to butcher in their whorehouse, their cat, their cat house, their cow house. So everything I eat is distributed. I get and I'm still paralyzed. Oh, God, I can't move or anything. And can't lift a finger. I'm empathetic to everything. I pay for it. Like I said, if I get stabbed, I have to worship the stab. It's this biggest pussy in the world. Jesus saves, forgives, turns your other cheek, and gets stabbed again. And does it again. That's the precedent they're using. That's why I have a problem with Christianity. It's the poor, poor judgment logic. And not to mention, if I'm, I, and it's a big, it's a technicality. They're using me as the, the alpha male, St. Louis, uh, King of France, as a technicality loophole. Rather than they will not allow me the ascension. The ascension is, um, they are going to, uh, the Sunshine Bridge is ascension Paris. There's a bait and switch. I am not allowed to ascend. There's an ace hardware. There used to be a synagogue. Um, so the Sunshine Bridge Ascension, the Sunshine Bridge in Tampa Bay. So it's the Ascension. But I'm just there holding the door, and I pay. I get the bill, and I hold the door open as a key maker. But I'm not allowed to ascend, because if I ascend, then I can put things in order. And they do not want order. They want the part, the wild anarchy part. So yeah, sacred scars. Yeah, I got my finger operated on the scars matter more than my entire body because I am a slave to the person that operated on me and he makes he feeds me so that makes scars worth so much more than the actual body so that precedence goes into one of the reasons why the tattoo is God Almighty I matter least and it's the OMG EA Sports Game Boy they're addicted to games and they're making me teach a lesson in the gambling. But they screwed up in the first place by not allowing my father to evolve. They wanted to try to ride it. They, they gambled on keeping us as pets. 
display a vehicle to be ridden around to prove they were the real master. And they now they're making me empathetic to the fact that they have lost control and it's a sin filled world and they are so the Beau Rivage, so I gotta pay for by the I mean the game are just, I feel bad to a degree how stupid this gaming is, but I mean they just refuse to quit. They're like crazy at it. The sacred scars and then that that once again the permanent marks. I my name is not permanent. My sister proved that. You know, we're we're not worth anything. But if the you know, we're talking about the pro motherfucking mob that will that rules the fucking world forever. You know, that that's who got us kidnapped. He, the scars and all that. They're the pro fucking mob that rules the world forever. You don't mess with these. They're serious, serious, real, real fucking pro pimps, I guess. So, yeah, that goes back to the man, Kato. I guess it's the Athens Godfather or something like that. I don't really know. It all revolves around Indianapolis. Um, and it's bizarre. Sigma Delta Chi is there. Kappa Alpha Theta is there. Alpha Chi Omega is there. Oh, there's a bunch of them. In there. If you look at Indianapolis, it's there. It's a massive. I mean, and the problem is, like I self said, 100% is all, you know, they want everything. They refuse to budge a fucking penny or pay a cent. Everything is legit. That's their money laundering legitimizer. That's a secret interview. And all that. So, yeah. Oh, I've got a worship machine because I am not allowed to use it. Worship plastic. Like my bike tire blew today. And so now, what, my bike tire is plastic, so I can't get to the store. So I got to, you know, I've got, they got to teach me lessons to worship plastic because I am kidnapped and my wallet was stolen. And I can't do anything except learn these stupid lessons because it's a scholarship. I'm paying for scholarship. By doing this, I'm paying billions of dollars in scholarship. Worst investment ever. I mean, I, and I can't get any help or anything and nothing. Zero. Nothing. No help at all. Hardball negotiations. Zero. I've got zero leverage. I've got nothing. I've just got to lay there and take it. I have no leverage. They want me to be the Omega, you know. I guess. So I have zero leverage. So I just have to bend over and say, Deliverance me, boy! Teach me to like it, John Boy! Yeah, that, because I they figured it out. I, I have no leverage to negotiate at all. It was I was reading something in Inc. Magazine about the art of negotiating. And I have zero leverage. Even though I pay so much. Well, my body pays a lot, which my real body is a slave to the kidnappers. My actual body is the biggest impish pussy in the history of the world. I got fucked worse than, than the worst than I mean, just about anything in the world. So I've got zero leverage to negotiate. You know, I've always got to beg like a fucking dog. And, um, for t you know, I have zero leverage. I don't have, they will not let me hire a company. And I'm always trying, you know, I don't have any money to, it goes back to, again, once again, Beau Rivage bluffing joke. House always loses and pays out in this instance because of the Occupy movie. Yeah, oh, the Bollinger Shipyard is a shipyard in Louisiana. And I just read something that they had just delivered their tent cutting edge Coast Guard cutter. Which I have no problem with. I have great friends who were in the Coast Guard my entire life. And the problem is, is that I am literally dying. I am ki I am shipwrecked. It, it's, it, once again, it goes to the overvaluation. It's like they are gambling on every sacred penny. And I pay. So my bank is being robbed because I am looted, pillaged, because I am forced to be worship every sacred penny so I cannot manage my estate. Once again, goes back to why the farmer's insurance. 
because I am not allowed to grow crops. I am just growing a pump because I I am get I am the biggest pussy in the history of the world. I always get fucked. I don't ever fuck anything, basically, because I was castrated so the pimp players could get a bigger cock, for the most part. So I was castrated for the Magnum Trojans upgrades for all the, but for, for the pro players. <coughs> My humor is a bit out there, and I admit it. It's, I've been working on it a while, and I am kind of dedicated right now. I'm kind of broke. Another wasted day. It's Tybee Prom, Supermoon, 22nd day of summer, Titanium Day. Number 22 won in the next part of the day. Woo, me. Um, and I wish this was a joke, but these people are crazy. I mean, they have a serious, serious problem, and they refuse to budge. Yeah, their plane was stolen while, while their fucking house is getting eaten up by termites. And they don't care. They are outdoor. They're brave outdoor. But they'll go out and hunt. Yeah, we don't. We ain't gonna fair. Ash. Oh yeah, the Ashton Kutcher Kevin Costner movie, The Guardian. Great. Back Coast Guard. They're both Delta Chi. When I went to Europe, I went to Europe with the Delta Chi. My father was in the Coast Guard. Great. No problems there at all, except I am still paying for that trip. I pay for everything because I am the biggest pussy in the history of the world, and I get fucked by anybody and everything. I'm a cat. I'm the I'm the, the cat house. You know, they not only do they want to fuck all the girls that are work for me or that are my my responsibility, they want me to. They want to fuck me too. Hey, deliverance style in Zed's basement. That's where we are right now. Zed's basement. I'm just, they just, they got brave because the media is guilty. And they all know the media is nothing but a Hebrew national bunch of laser pointer bulldog pussies. They won't do anything. They just shine light. And that just gives them more street cred to this transformation. And me being un, they're making me uncool now because I look like a little pussy ass bitch because I'm getting fucked every which way but loose on trying to escape from Alcatraz, play Misty for me, paint my wagon and all this bullshit. And then there are, um, so yeah, I'm getting screwed every which way you can, any which way you can, go, you know, it's, the, it's always got to be me paying for anything I try to do. I pay. That's the whole John Cryer, these Moochers, but they make me empathetic. They use their weakness as a strength. That's real karate. You know, there's some real black belt karate. Jiu jitsu. Kamaka. Um, so, yeah, I pay for their weakness because they've got to turn everything around because I'm their slave beauty shop. I make everything pretty. Um, and I don't get paid anything. I don't get any tip. I don't get anything. Everything. I always just pay. I volunteer. Give nothing away. I keep nothing. And it's just like the river runs through me. I guess you would. Yep. Um. So yeah, no problem. There. Except the problem is they will not allow me to manage the state. Great. I'm very happy. Well, they're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to. Control the globe. They think they can build this Truman Show and control the globe. And that way, they can get away with with more screwing. That's more Fifty Shades of Grey. The more they can control the globe and risk management, the more they can get away with screwing. The more daredevil risk management can. That's one of the motives here. That's why I, and I am, I'm not able to prepare at all. The unprepared, as you would the Boy Scouts do. I am the most unprepared. I mean, literally, because I'm the biggest pussy in the history of the world, get fucked by anybody and everybody, and every are stabbed, speared, beaten, and I because I'm just laying there paralyzed in a coma because I'm every bite of food gets feed somebody else, and then they're proud because they have to be fed, so they come kick the shit out of me for their pride. You would, because I can't. I'm not allowed to defend myself. Cause I'm the biggest pussy. In the world. And I have the best fucking hookers in the world for free.
Marie and Porgy and Dan love that St. Vincent cat house. Body shares and affliction until body is gone. Oh, yeah. The Dungeon Master Virtual Reality. Prime time! Wasted. Uh, handicap. That's what it's all about. They got a handicap me. To be fair to the lowest common denominator they can stick me with. So it's like they not only their poison me as low as I can go, limbo! Low as I can get, unfortunately. And then I've got to be handicapped to that level. Regardless, but see, every the lower I go, the more I pay. So, my body, my natural body, <coughs> waste. My entire adult life is a waste. Nothing but a total, total wasted in Margaritaville. For party, I pay for, you know, I accomplish nothing. I grew no crops. Zero. Nothing. An absolute, I mean, decades wasted. And we're talking about billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars wasted. Nothing but a fucking Playboy party! Going out and do some Duck Dynasty hunting! Fishing, red snapper run, oh, red fish run. So yeah, what? Um, so yeah, now I've got to wait around till my body gives out. Then I get tortured. They're trying. What they're trying to do is they're trying to torture me. I mean, this is smart. Kid. So they torture me as long and as bad and horrific as they can. So my it, it even creates more. They want to fuck me up worse than my body, my nat. They want to make me worse than my natural body already is. Gonna. They want to make me the suffer the most possible once my body fails. So all this decades of mental torture, they're hoping will fuck me up mentally later down the road. They 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 want to prove. They want to put some permanent marks. They want to they want to tag me. To, Look what we did to that boy, our slave boy there. We beat him so bad he's fucked in the head forever. And that's a that's a pride mark there. That, 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 because they worship because their tattoo is God. So and their their scar, you know, they because they worship a bunch of fraud. So they realize they have to prove the validity by really fucking me up. And that's what's going on now. So when my body starts failing, and of course I'll have to go to the worst health. So yeah, that uh, it, it's wait until the body is gone and the real pain starts. Like Royal Dutch Shell, Bud Bundy, the sacred, every sacred aluminum can, Almighty Dead, J. C. Lewis, dump. You know that's what it's all about. Every sacred aluminum can, so I get dumped into J. C. Lewis public hell. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but we're talking about I'm supposed to be managing a multi-billion-dollar estate. And there are, the immigration crisis is because of this scam. Because they refuse to allow me to manage the estate and fix some of the problems, they want to make it hard, as worse as it can get, as being revenge. We'll see what happened. If I had been raised properly, and I had, you know, if I had been taught, if I had been told who I was and said, we're going to raise you properly to be a leader, Instead, I was raised to be, I was, you know, dumb, I was tormented to be just a pathetic person to be a fuck. An advocate, you know, that, it's probably because the Baton Rouge advocate and the advocate of the game was the magazine. So they were, they've got their, that's their justification right there. That's the Cobra Kai, karate kidnapper, Sundance Kid, yeah, Utah Jazz, payback for the NOLA Jazz. We don't lose nothing without getting paid for it, and I pay for that. And I paid for the fucking Charlotte Hornets, too. Woo! Paid for that when they went to do I paid for every side. Paid for everything. <clears throat> okay. So. Yep. So we're going back to... Completely lost my train of thought. So that's too bad. So. Simple of my... My, my, my early on age... 
know what they do for me. I don't know. Who knows? Well, they, it's always trying to make the worst case scenario happen, regardless of what the reality is. So, it makes those that I create worth more. Okay, so when I get, let's say, the, there's these, I create something in the shape of aluminum can um, factory or whatever. I create this object. Then I get lower than the object based on the whole premise. Uh, I don't know, is it, they're using the justification of new is better. And they're trying to teach me new is better by forcing me into uh, the whole nasty But new is better. So then the creator then outranks me. And then it gets better health care. All those that I, we're talking about every sacred diploma at LSU matters more than me. I mean, even now, every high school diploma matters more than me. You know, everything matters more than me. That's how crazy this whole thing is. And then they get health care. And then that's where you get into them. Because the spin doctors, they matter. The master is a doctor. It's a spin doctor. So it completely mutates the reality of the logic. So then they use the health care to bury me and to destroy the source. It's going to turn into like Detroit. It's, amazing. Or work, it's a lot worse than Detroit, actually. At least Detroit paid for its fucking cars. They're paying nothing. This is so much worse than Detroit. You can't even I mean, they are literally paying nothing. They're just going in, let's go make our, we're going to build our own, it's like build your own pizza. Let's make our own cars. Anything we want, like Homer Simpson. You know, we're going to make it as crazy as possible. We're not going to pay anything. i got to pay for the raw materials even. And then, you know, that, because we can produce all the monopoly money we want with Louisiana Pacific Timber, Lake of Liquid Assets, Cash Value, Monopoly Converter. Convert monopoly money into real money with global value because that's my bet. Who cares about the rest of the world? So, yeah, then you got the immigrant crisis because of, you know, I mean, that the, the, there was supposed to be some sort of evolutionary step forward. But since the USA had the best hand because they were, they were trying to prove greed is good, Gordon Gecko, Wall Street won, we did end up, they're going to try to get out. And they're going to try to avoid losing their daughter. Like in World War, and then they're going to try to avoid the crisis. Um, so, yeah. They got, they had, the, they held the best hand. And so they decided, we're just going to play this out. You know, they liked the way the system was. They had the best hand in the system because they were controlling one quarter of the globe's assets. Too. I mean, they figured out a way because they, it's basically the Catholic Church controls about 25% of the world's assets. So by, by using St. Louis King of France to control the world bank, so then they held this hand. They used me to pad all the insulation. So that's the problem with what's going on. So every day is a victory. Every day that I get nothing accomplished is a Johnny Drama victory for the Honduran people. It's crazy. The logic. Tulane should be my. That's how bad we were screwed up. Tulane should be my strongest ally. The creator of Entourage is from Tulane. Need you desperately. And still, I'm Lone Star, Home Alone Stars, bro. Wizards of the Coast, Dungeons and Dragons Matrix that I pay for. And like I said, I am acting as a bank officer principal because the bank is being decimated. And it needs their, I mean, I, it, it's really, really bad. How bad this whole debacle is. Circuit floor of consumers, the levy jewel high. Oh, the Corps of Engineers. Uh, the Corps of Engineers is you. There we go once again. Water boy, the mud dogs. And Louisiana really did turn into the mud dogs. They, they, they did not learn. They, you know, they took the challenge. They sold their soul. Um, so, because the Mississippi River was diverted around Louisiana, so it's, you see, it runs through it. But it's not real. It's imaginary. So really all it is is a bunch of rice patties and mud. That's all it is. And there's really no big fish left. The big fish have sold their soul to either certain factions. Most Athens or to SMU or Q 
Houston or to California or to Colorado or to New York. They sold part of the SEC. A few might have sold their souls overseas. So yeah, you know what a river eleven. So the Corps of Engineers is used to, and I'm dying of dehydration too, and dying of hunger. And I don't mean to make light of all those people that are starving. See, one of the things in my team, they want to torture me so bad that I make fun of hunger and I make fun of poverty and I make fun of people that are hardworking. And then I, because I look like an asshole, I alienate, even though they want to. It's all about trying to alienate. You know, that's more of the shakedown. You know, shakedown street. So the more the asshole I look to being mad about being, then they're, they're trying to. It's another one of those stupid lessons that amateur brain surgery costs me millions of dollars. So yeah, the levy jewels. Um, so you got the levy around the river. Liquid acid. Then you've got this process called liquid. So, the Corps of Engineers is used to just to keep me, and they consider me like the Mississippi River. And, but I am not allowed to drink myself. Or I actually get the real thing. What the Mississippi River is like in Louisiana, it is nasty, polluted, horrific because of all of the fertilizer and the pollution. So you got fertilized pollution and waste in the Mississippi River going through real Louisiana, not to mention all the chemical plants and all of that. So that's what I get. I get the polluted, nasty Mississippi River to drink because they, that's another one of those rail or avengers. And um, I can't, and they're poor, but the Corps of Engineers is trying to keep me in this thing. I think that's what's happening here at this place. Um, but the Corps of Engineers, I mean, the problem is, who the fuck are these people that are getting paid and I can't get a fucking penny? First of all, who the fuck are these no anybody's that can get paid? The anarchy anybody can get paid, but I can't get a fucking cent because they want to try. They think, actually, they're, they've are what only built the levy on one side and flooding part of the other. So the mud, mud flats. That's what we're doing. Revenge. For um, global warming caused by all the chemical plants, and I go for that too. So yeah, this whole the Corps of Engineers is used to help facilitate this scam. It's the, well, the Corps of Engineers is used to help facilitate keeping me small and kidnapped. I don't understand it. I'd like an audit of that. Also, doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, I think it's a high. I think that's once again, I think that's war profiteering. You got all sorts of So, yeah, I got a big master. Oh, for showing any trace of pride. See, they're trying to bury me deep and deep down in the wet. They don't want anybody to know I'm there because they screwed me so bad. They're so embarrassed. It's, it's, they're in the closet. They really are. They're hunters and stabbed and speared and they screwed me so bad for so long. They hate themselves. They got an identity crisis. Prove that it's true. So, they, um, they, they, any trace of pride, I have to just, I get massive. Just total, total massive. Um, and the thing is, I have partners in this global bank that need me to be strong because it's like the weakest link. If I am weak, then it weakens the whole chain. But that's part of the motive. They want to wipe out the whole global bank. So it's free range, bright, pick an asset. They can grab whatever they want. Yeah, they want to wipe it all out. That's the, that's what they're trying to spread, the global anarchy revolution. So I yeah, the weakest link in the chain is obviously me, because I can't even feed myself. I'm pathetic. Less miles means I can't go back. They gotta keep me bottled up. You need a bottle for that free hooch. What the misery broken feet hobbled by Candy Bait. So yeah, I gotta beg the master for any trace of pride. And so the global partners who rely on my strength to help them 
or being attacked, like, I mean, being attacked because I am the, I am a slave, and I am not allowed any pride. Pride means I might become an a slave. That's crazy talk there. That's one of the reasons I'm mad, you know. So they're trying to, using the law and the strength of the U.S. economic system, banking, global banking is considered bipolar or schizophrenic because they've got to worship the masters of the U.S. because I am a slave. Either that or they disconnect me and let the bear, finally bury me, losing my religion. And so then they can get at all the, uh, then they can go and round up all the assets globally. Oh yeah, it's like the Texas hold the river card, which is like a covalent shared bond. Because everybody play, you've got the three, the three, like an L. So everybody plays off these river cards, yet it's very much like a covalent bond. The problem is it's a gamble. And everybody is a member of the house, I guess you would. I matter least, whereas that's the Burr of Oz. I matter least, the Burr of Oz being the river. Um, Seth, good man, um, Burr of Oz Palace is a bit. Um, but the Corps of Engineers have hijacked it and occupied it for national security to protect all the scammers that are in danger of paying their bills. It is national security. Do not pay your bills these days, especially when you're robbing a bank. I mean, that's how bad it is. It really is. National security to not pay your bill to certain people because then you might have to pay more bills. You don't want your debt collectors helping. You want to kill your debt collectors like a bury those bodies in cold blood. So, yeah, you've got these shared, these, they're playing off this river. And they have to hold, that's a hostage crisis, a hostage situation, because they're reliant upon the symbiotic contribution of the house. To, it's, it's, the game itself is added to mention the level. It's, it transcends beyond the casino. It goes all over, they, they, they spread, the, that's part of the matrix. That is what part of the way that the matrix is powered by these covalent bonds. There's covalent bonds in all sorts of um, ways, but the problem is, is the math involved is not bad. Uh, the magic plastic justified by cash, and so that's another reason why my plastic tire is flat and i got to walk less miles. Proof validity. Yeah. Oh, then you've got the, this is the awkward joke. Um, I, it, whatever, I can't, that's why the less miles is one of the Less miles. Um, goes in the circle. Um, the, uh, like, if there's a party, I can't get to it. Or I don't have transportation. And then that, once again, is the beauty shop empathy for those that are reliant on being, uh, or, or reliant on, I mean, it's just got their ego, their infallibility ego is so far out there. Every sacred penny with a sacred almighty God car I wish I had, you know, because I can't go anywhere. So I can't go to, uh, the precedence is set. What they're trying to do is, I can't, and this probably goes back to Molly Ray from the Cadillac Grill. They had a, um, a party at her house, which was way out of town, and I didn't have a ride there. And I didn't have any friends, and so nobody could bring me, and so I couldn't go. That press, that's the awkward press. So, um, now I got some raving. So they got to curse me. So that's probably why I got the flat tire today. I can't go to the tiny prom. And that's once again revenge for me dating a varsity tennis player. So now I won't get any date at all. I, and not to mention, I really paid for that date. Didn't even kiss her. That's the joke part about it. Didn't get any date. Um, so yeah, I got to really pay, because they're out of my league, you know, that's like, the, you got to teach your slave the play. The, the, it's the, once again, it's back to Bobby Jindal and the OMG Omega Cast system. I'm an untouchable. They, they've turned me into an untouchable. They are like the untouchable mob. Nobody can mess with them, whereas me, I'm a, I'm in the, like, the lowest untouchable cast of Indians. 
That's the interpretation there. So I can't get to, if I, I can't get anywhere to where, I couldn't go to where, I got to wait until I'm rejected because then they will be justified. Because then I got to wait until I am rejected. They want me to wait. It's like the Homer Odyssey. Epic. As you would. I got to wait until nobody wants me. Then I can play. That's handicapped. It's a mega handicapped enough, I guess. That's a crazy, crazy thing about it. But I'm their beauty shop. They're never crazy. I'm always crazy. They're never crazy. The crazier they are, I pay for it. Beauty shop. That is a pretty deal. Let me send you for a diploma. Woo! Billions for a diploma. And lots of So, Mark two weeks for spices. Oh, that's once again goes back to the Tabasco taco bait and switch. Tabas, Tabasco. Um, yeah, so I can, uh, I grew some jalapeno peppers. I was bored when I was living in Savannah, and I knew I wanted, I should be on a farm when I was living at that house. So I used to, all the food I would eat, I would take the pepper seeds, and I would or the tomato seeds. I grew a tomato plant from scratch from the seeds of tomatoes I was eating. I grew, um, what else was it? Oh, a jalapeno plant. I paid for this. There was a nursing home right next door, it was a 10, to 10 story. So on, on top, the four story, on the four story top, I, I grew these like five or six jalapeno plants. And so I would put them on the top because the yard wouldn't get much time at all. Then I wanted to try to grow them. And I got a ton of jalapenos, like hundreds and hundreds of jalapenos off this thing. I used to go up every day with a gallon jug and water and water and water. But the thing is, I, I mean, jalapenos to me is the nastiest, worst. You know, it's like, it's, it's always the worst interpretation because of this. They represent it. And so I am too, they're trying to make me too scared to eat spicy food. That's one of the reasons. I'm too weak. I'm the biggest pussy in the world. I get fucked by everybody. So I'm too weak to eat spicy food. And uh, it's just crazy. Uh, well, the thing about it is, is they will not allow me to use my real body. Uh, and then once again, I think it's going back to their playing sides with the British royal family. They're going to kill them with pride, and they're going to kill them with vanity. They're it's a, one of the they're they're the real pamphlet cats. You know, they're going to kill them with pride and kill them with vanity. But also, what they love the mob loves the royal family because they're monogamous, or not, yeah. and um, they hate. Uh, they do not. They, the mob worships machines and worships the political terminator of God. And the political system loses a lot of power with polygamy. That's the honest truth. It that's where, when you go, yeah, the choice. Rise of the kings, rise of the terminator, machine. Rise of the kings would go polygamy. Rise of the terminator, machines. And I'm not saying everybody. The, the thing about it is, life is not you're going to eventually, this whole notion of fairness, that's when you worship the Terminator machine, then, or whatever, vice versa, left, the Terminator machine, then you worship the electric grid, and you worship machines, and you worship the political system. And when you, it's like, hey, that's the mechanical side of it. The agriculture would be better suited into, that's national, natural progression. It's like breeding horses. That's one of the reasons it's just for John's revenge rather than he's for the king. So, the, they have to make it that they, they love the British for that because they waited. They were, they had manners for waiting. They never looked at it. The Arab, British aristocracy, and I mean, I'm even literally being attacked by the Savannah. The only thing, and they're trying and so, but never got any help from like James Bond, for the next one. J.W. Pepper Joe here. And there's a J.W. Pepper music store in Atlanta, so I guess they're good to get the music. I get, to, I get shit down by the, the hassle by smoking the band, you know, that's my mentality. To handicap and to harass 
for me because I'm the victim. So yeah, the uh, natural progression toward this. Oh, they were going to use then. They're trying to either turn my hair gray, which is oh, Grayson Stadium for the sand map. That's going to make the sand map historically important for the scalper. Or they were going to scout me back. It, it, that's why I'm living in this nightmare terror dome. Um, is they're trying to either pull my hair or turn it gray. And if I, they, that's why they will not allow me to work. Um, if I have a job, I lose a lot of stress. They've got to keep me on this real small $100 leash so I could die at any time. They can't, they, it, when I am on the bird, when I am on life support on the birds of death, it gives the kidnappers options. And it also gives me a lot of stress. And it makes my crazy, crazy, crazy mother who's driven crazy because I did not kill myself. See, if I would have killed myself, see, I had some friends who wanted to be dead. And so since my mother saved me, then they're going to make her pay by turning her against me. And so, yeah, my crazy mother, um, because they are incompetent to drive me out on a, the, real, the real me, um, so that uh, it, it gives them options. So they're really, a, best case scenario for the mob kidnappers is my mother throws me out into the street, permanent to be a bum and die. Kill myself. Because I would probably last on this. I don't know what I would do. There again, that's where you get you a yard sale for all the magic goods. Or see, it's like my Nordica Beast boots my stepfather has. My, the helmet I used to ski on, my stepfather has. The, the Dina Star Speed skis, which were a notoriety that I have ADHD, which they do not believe in, my stepfather has. A big chest of evidence from Aspen, my stepfather has. You know, and they won't even admit they keep it for me. That's their magic. Um, so if I was forced that way, all the, all the stuff that I've collected in the bag would be, see, that's the mad Caldwell magic cauldron, black cauldron, as you would, for their voodoo magic um, that they're relying upon these days because they are they wanted me to be the biggest pussy in the history of the world and get fucked by everybody. So, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, this is some of the dumbest logic in history of the world. I would almost feel bad for these people, but they are just, I mean, history is going to be a cruel bit. And I mean, they're setting themselves up where they could be eaten by a lot of different people. I mean, they are just rolling over and saying, you know, it's just terrible, terrible logic. I mean, they, I could have been one of their strongest allies, one of their best weapons, but they were proud and they wanted to fuck that's all it was. And they gambled on it. And so now they turned me, you know, my, all they had to do was feed me and give me a few friends and uh, help me get a decent job. But they wanted me small. They wanted me smart. They wanted the kid that. They wanted me small. They, It's like, I'll get a job at $500, get fired. Um, $500, you know, there's like a max limit. Because if I get a job, I could have saved up three or four or five thousand, and that that's, I could escape. But I'm there stuck in Maryland. I can't get a buffet. You know, I can't get away. They gotta keep me forever. I mean, it's just some of the worst lot. I mean, history is gonna be a cruel bitch. I'm telling you, and they, they, it's gonna be a bad hanging. And they refuse to pay a cent for all the. I mean, not only do I provide the crown liquor, I get the hangover. I mean, it's just crazy. Oh, another wasted day. Happy Tybee Prom!